as well. Nice and soft as well. Lovely. Thank you. You're welcome. Excellent. Shirley? Well, thank you, Don. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh. oh, no. Let me try one as well. Mm. Mm, oh, how is it? Delicious. Delicious, mm. isn't it? Mm. Traditional espresso, right here. Oh, okay. No problem. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Just stir that in. Mm -hmm. I'm going to check on the pasta right now. You can lower just a bit. Wait down a bit. I got chocolate fingers. Mm -hmm. Just wash my hands off just a little bit first. The pasta. Um, so it's ready. So I'm going to take this out. It tastes like chocolate the pasta. <laughs> Excellent pasta. There's an idea. Ah, wow, there you go. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm not going to just rest this here for now. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to rinse this off. I'm just going to toss it with just a bit of oil because uh, we're going to put it in here now. Oh. A bit of oil. Just so it doesn't stick together. Let me get my tongs. Just rest it there for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Let's continue this sauce. What we want to add here now as well too is some uh, Parmesan cheese craft. Yummy. Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. so add some of that into here. Oh, yummy. That yeah. Karen was telling me in the break that she just can't wait to taste this, you know. She, oh. she, she, wants, she was actually rushing you. She was like, hurry up, John. Please. Okay. <laughs> can you pass the salt, please? <laughs> sure. So we can season. Don't want to keep you back. <laughs> it's good. And cheese also make it nice and thick, too. Yeah, make it nice and thick and, mm -hmm. thick and creamy. And a bit of pepper. Thank you. You're welcome. That looks good. Just we'll leave this right here for now. Mm -hmm. Let's just go ahead as well. Mm, good. Smells great. Just taste it. Always taste. Mm. Go ahead, Karen. Karen, tell me what you think. Sure, thank you. Needs any more cheese? Probably does. Oh, it tastes very good, though. Tastes very good, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you could always add more cheese. Mm. Yeah, just a bit more cheese. Wrong. A bit more cheese to you guys. Mm. Cheese is always good, yeah. Mm. Absolutely. No, it's very good. Mm. It's so delicious. What we're, gonna, what we're gonna do now is we're going to go ahead and add our pasta. Sorry. So you're gonna try this at home then? Uh, <laughs> I would love to say yes, but it's in all easy. likelihood. <laughs> Look how easy this is. Yeah, it's true though, it is easy. Even for me, it's yeah. <laughs> I think I can even manage. And that's that. a nice <laughs> fettuccine alfredo, which is very nice and creamy. And I like to serve, as I said, you know, when I was cooking with Alison Hines, I like to cook family style. Family style. Nice. Uh -huh. So. You get a nice big bowl. You get a nice big bowl. And this bowl is from Dwellings. We always go there. Yep. Let me help you get all oh, that get, sauce. Get all that good stuff out. Mmm. It's soon eating time, Karen. Soon. Yeah, it's good, very good, nice. good. Okay. Very hungry. Okay, we're finished there. <laughs> wow. And then, Karen. Amazing. That's what I like to do, well, I always like to wipe off my bowl, of course. Mm -hmm. What I like to do is um, sprinkle a bit of that craft Parmesan oh, cheese yes. on top again. Absolutely. Just when you thought you had enough, right? Yeah, you, you can, can never have it. enough cheese. Yeah. Never enough cheese. Top. Just a bit more, and we're finished. Mm. And that's our fettuccine pasta with that's Alfredo it. sauce. That looks amazing. So yeah. John, what's next? Plating? Plating is next. Time to eat. Sure, all right. We want to eat some of that chicken. Yes. Some of that rice. We yep. got pasta. Absolutely. It's time to it's time to eat. So we have bills to pay, John. Yeah. Oh, bills to pay. We Not me. I, I don't pay any bills. So we're gonna <laughs> go pay, pay some bills. John is gonna go pay our bills, and we'll be right back. See you guys in a minute. See you soon.
All right, we're here at the lovely Bougainville Resort. Uh, last weekend, we did created a cocktail on the show. And now we're here to give away the prize for the person who named that drink, and that is Leslie. Uh, Leslie gave the drink a really interesting name of Clayton Sunrise. So we're going to present her with two vouchers for a chicken burn and a bottle of Clayton's full of time. We're going to ask Leslie to come in. Bottle of Clayton's. And your two vouchers. Thank you. So let's know how did you come up with the name for the The name just came right off the top of my head. Oh man, do you really enjoy economics? Yes, I do. Do you watch it every single week? Yes, I do. I love economics and you, you said too. too. Chicken rules, chicken, chicken is king. The economics drink of the day is brought to you by Clayton's Cola Tonic and Doolin's Fruit Juice. Hey guys, it's a beautiful day here at the Bougainvillea Beach Resort and it's time for our Clayton's Cola Tonic drink segment with Jamal Bowen. Yeah. But wait a minute, Jamal, <laughs> what's the shirt you have on? Yeah, it's, it's my Clayton's Cola Tonic mix, mixer shirt. What's on the back? On the back? On the back? Oh. <laughs> None mixes better. None mixes Clayton's better. Clayton's Cola Tonic. Yeah. Guys, nice. can I, I have one? Uh, we, we can try, we can try, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I run out of, I love Charlie shirts. Oh, we can't let that happen twice. <laughs> he got so much stuff. <laughs> what are you going to be making for us today, Jamal? Uh, well, today I decided to do an, another drink where we are going to get the fans of the show to, to go on our Facebook and go on Barbins today uh -huh. uh, and give us a name for this one. Okay. All right, so this one is going to have some Clayton's Cola Tonic, uh, a little bit of fresh mint, mm. uh, some lemons, mm. uh, a, little bit of sugar, a little bit of sugar syrup, okay. and then uh, my, my special secret ingredient that I usually use something. Your secret ingredient? Yeah, secret ingredient. I can tell everybody, you know. Well, yeah, it's your <laughs> choice. It's your choice. So the first thing we want to do here is that we want to get one of our lemons. Or one of our lemon halves again. Yeah. And we're going to cut it into four again. All right? Mm -hmm. Put that straight into my glass. And before... Season everything. Yeah, season everything. Okay. Uh, and then before we get to mixing that in, what we're going to do is we're going to get some of these mint leaves mm -hmm. straight off of the sprigs. Depending on the size of mint, uh, you could use anywhere between 6 to 10 mint leaves. Okay. Right. They're really very strong? Oh yeah, they're, they're, they are pretty strong. I mean, okay. if, if you want to take one, you just rub it between your fingers. Mm -hmm. uh, and then smell your fingers and you smell some of the mint. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's very, very potent stuff. So. There you go. So we're only looking for the freshest of leaves here. Mm -hmm. There you go. That should be enough. All right. And we're going to muddle this. So what we're doing here is we're releasing the oils from the mint. You can use that any side then, the muddle. Yeah, you can use the muddler on any side, yeah. Because okay. this one, this glass is pretty narrow at the oh, bottom. Okay. So we're going to use the smaller end. If I try to use the other end, then we don't, we don't even get the muddling yeah, done. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, then from there, we, what we're going to do is that we're going to use the Clayton's Cola Tonic. Uh-huh. Right. Today, I feel, I feel a little peckish, so uh -huh. we're just going to straight pour into here. Oh, that's not wrong with that. Yeah, that's wrong with that. I mean, since I'm a lover of Clayton's Cola Tonic, they can use as much as they want. All right, then. You have the shirt at all. Yeah, I'm sure I'm not. After all, I'm a mix master. Look at how the oils... Yeah, the oils are starting to come... Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. If you get the oil, all the oils are just shooting up yeah, into the cold on it. Alright. You see that? It looks like a little vapor that's just yeah. running up into up, up inside of there. But that's basically the oils that we've just released. Right. They're now trying to escape. Right. Alright, so if we didn't cover it with the cold tonic, that'll just be going in, that'll just be evaporating okay. into the air. So it kinda doing its own mixing. Yeah, it's doing its own mixing. Then we're gonna use a little bit of sugar syrup. Alright, so we got a little bit of bitter there from, from the lime. Uh, sorry, from the lemon. Mm -hmm. uh, then we got the, the freshness and the mint. Uh, so then we just add a little bit of sweet to the syrup. Mm -hmm. And then the dry complexity of the coral tonic. Get all the way down the bottom of my bar spoon. All right. And a lot of people tend to think that you have to really crush mint or you have to rip yeah. it apart. Uh, but the best way to, to, to deal with mint is just to gently press it. Okay. Uh, so that by the time you're finished, if you look in, you'll just see some of the leaves are still kind of so whole. whole. Right, and that's also but you still for got the oils out of in there. Even exactly. Though still whole. Okay. Yeah, even though they're still whole, because what happens is that when you break it down, it actually gets into the straw and that kind of thing. You oh, don't know right, what's right, happening right. Uh, when you put the straw in the drink. Uh, but that's basically it. And this is where you are the best. Oh, thank you very much. And just at the end, our secret ingredient. Our secret ingredient. A little perfume. A little perfume. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> 
Yeah, but yeah, and that's it. Actually, I'm, I'm, gonna get, I'm actually going to stir that in a little bit more. Okay. Just so you don't get the bitters right at the top. Oh, you told out your secret just now. Ha -ha. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. I don't mind. Secrets can't always be secrets. Right, but there we have. Another beautiful drink. Another beautiful cup. Now let's taste it. I love this. <laughs> this is really good. You're welcome. I love this, Jamal. This is, this is... And you know what? Mm. It's non-alcoholic. I know. Yeah. <laughs> this is a very good drink, but it's nameless. So you guys have to send us a message. What do you want to name this drink? It has in Clayton's Cola Tonic, it has in mint leaves, it has in little bits of lemon, and it has his little secret and some simple so syrup. Sure. But he told y'all the secret is bitter, so <laughs> it's no secret anymore. No secret anymore. So just send us a message on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash ergonomics, or you can send an email to barbadostoday.bb and name this drink. It is great. This has been another drink segment brought to you by Clayton Scola Tonic. Thanks a lot, Jamal. Thank you very much. Cheers. The main benefit is obviously that we've taken the essence of the cola nut and put it in a liquid form inside a bottle. The cola nut gives you energy and stamina. I think the main benefit uh, from drinking Clayton's is that you've got the choice as to whether you make it into an alcoholic product or not. So um, on its own, it's a, it's a very satisfying full-bodied drink.